you wanna hang out together today? Remember the days when you would like call up your friend and be like, hey, you wanna hang out? Yeah, and then no other plans to do anything other than just enjoy each other's company. That's how I feel today with you. Let's just hang out together. What are our plans? We don't know. We never really know, but none of that matters as long as you and me are together. I actually have some pretty exciting stuff to share with you guys today. This video is sponsored by Thread Up. Huge thanks to them for sponsoring my video and continuing to support me, but also massive thanks to you for continuing to support me when I have sponsored content, and you'll get a pretty good deal. I'll share the special deal with you after I share all of the amazing stuff that I got from Thread Up. I also have a thrift haul for Meredith that I got. I went to the thrift store for her, like the kid thrift store. She needed some shoes. I came out with a lot more than shoes. So I'll share all of that. I also need to put it away and also sift through her stuff once again because she is growing out of things. She's growing like a weed. You know what else I have to do? Make a delicious treat. First of all, Avelina has a track meet today, so I do need to do that. But more importantly, <laughs> in the kitchen, I feel like every day, I just, I'm in the kitchen hunting for something sweet, some a treat, chocolate, I don't care, just feed me sugar. So I scour through my kitchen and there is none to be found. So I need to make something and I've been pretty not great about Brownie Friday lately. I just feel like we've been so busy and, and you know, doing other things on Fridays that I haven't made brownies on Friday. So I'm gonna try to shove some together today, brownies or cookies, I don't care. As long as it has real sugar, I'm all gonna be all over it. You know what else I have to do? Go to the makeup store, Ulta, Sephora, I don't know the difference. I just, I always feel so weird going into makeup stores like, oh, hi, here I go. I don't know, it's like insecurities, like that follow you into adulthood. There's no reason to be insecure. Going into a makeup store, I have money to spend there. Why should I? It's like Pretty Woman, you know? And she's like, I, I have all this money. I, like, I just want makeup. Well, in her case, it was, she just wanted clothes. Anyway, I, ha I need to go to the makeup store, which is what I'm going to call it. I don't know which one I'm gonna go to. But do you know why? Because Meredith, little sweet Meredith, gets into all of mommy's makeup. And she opens it up and like smears it all over the floor. It's all over her face. And like once it touches the floor, there's no way I'm gonna put it near my eyes. Like I have enough eye issues as it is. No thank you. So uh, there's that. Oh, and <laughs> I shared with you in a previous video, she got into one of the makeup palettes that my sister gave me and just her dug her little fingers into all of it. So it is completely trashed. So I'm in the market for some makeup. Not too much, but enough where I'm not like scrounging around trying to get something under my eyes to cover up my dark old circles and large bags. It's actually not so bad. <gasps> oh my God! I didn't even say anything. I didn't even scare you. I didn't say anything. Why did you do that? Alex. So let me share with you the thrift haul that I got from Thread Up. If you guys are unaware, Thread Up is a online consignment and thrift store. They have all kinds of stuff. I went kind of crazy. Not only do I have one box, I have two boxes and a bag and another bag and another bag and another bag. Do you know why? because ThreadUp has so many amazing things to offer to you at such an affordable price. It's so, I first of all, I love shift, shifting? You guys know I love thrift store shopping. I love the thrill of the hunt, finding a good bargain, and ThreadUp has so many incredible deals to offer. I love saving money, it's great for my wallet. I love saving the environment, it's great for the planet, and that is something ThreadUp is so great about doing. They offer all kinds of things, not only clothes, they have shoes, they have handbags, they have accessories, they have kids clothes, all kinds of stuff on their website from high end to middle range last thrift haul i shared with you guys from thread up i got i splurged i got some higher end pieces but still at a very affordable cost this time around i went the more affordable route i found some really great deals they also have oh my gosh new on their website oh so many things to say about their website 
so easy to navigate. If you are in the market for a specific item, which is why ThreadUp is so great, versus shopping in a huge thrift store where you have to like sift through each piece if you're looking for something specific, on ThreadUp, you can go on the website and filter out whatever it is you're looking for and all the pieces will come up that match that. And then also they're offering something on their website that's new and it's called Shop the Look. So they'll have different pictures of like outfit inspiration ideas. And if you click the picture, if you're like, oh, that's cute, I would like to have that. You click the picture and then a whole bunch of different assortment of items that are very similar to the picture come up. So I went down a rabbit hole of that, which was so much fun and I found so many great pieces. So let me just share some with you. Speaking of fall, I found this amazing, isn't this color amazing? It's like a cranberry red. It is a beautiful cardigan. Look, another short sleeve cardigan, which is what I was looking for. Great for Florida fall, because you know, if you live in Florida, fall does not exist. Our winter is similar to a fall, but still pretty hot. Anyway, I just love this color. What really needs to happen is a move somewhere where I have four seasons. But this is a loft and the estimated retail value of this is $60 and ThreadUp had it for $14.99. If you think that's amazing, I have so many more finds for you. Take a peek on this skirt. <gasps> what? The pattern screams fall. I love, I don't have anything plaid. That could be a lie. I might have some plaid. I don't have any plaid that looks like this. It gives me share vibes from Clueless. It gives me teacher in the 60s vibes. It gives me, oh, professional woman across the room vibes. This skirt is from H&M and the estimated retail value is $25 and I got it for $14.99. I also found this which was like so darling. And I know maybe the color is more summer vibes, but look at that pleating. It's an express tank top. You guys know I love a good tank top. This color is so bright and fun. I've been really vibing on <laughs> Carrie Bradshaw. I think the reboot of the movie is really getting to me, but she, her outfits are so iconic and they're so colorful and bold and none of it makes sense, but it all makes sense at the same time. So I was really thinking of her when I bought this. I just thought it was so fun. The estimated retail value for this top is $40. You guys know Express can be pricey, but also quality. ThreadUp had it for $11.99. So I was happy about that bargain. And then I found something incredible. I've been on the hunt for some really interesting pants and that's exactly what i found look at these aren't these incredible it's like a wide leg and they're so great oh my gosh they're new with tags Ugh, i didn't even know they're loft the brand is loft and the estimated retail value of these you're not gonna believe it 70 dollars what someone paid 70 dollars for these a thread up 12.99 thank you so much thread up amazing I just can't believe someone spent $70 on these and then didn't even wear them. I guess they just got too shy. Not me. I am ready to wear these and go walking around downtown or just to Costco. <laughs> As speaking of Costco and apple picking, I thought, well, what does a basic girl like myself need uh, for this fall weather we're having in Florida? Top 90 degrees on a cold day. And I thought, well, I need some booties. I grabbed these booties, aren't they darling? The estimated retail value of these is $24 and I got them for $17.99. I feel like it's a great deal for new boots. Someone give me a plane ticket to New York so I can go apple picking with my family because down here in Florida, it just doesn't exist. And if we go to the corn maze, you better believe we're gonna be sweating the entire time, but I will sweat in my amazing new booties. So I was really on the hunt for some pants pieces and I, oh boy, did I find some really big jackpots on some. So look at these beautiful pants, the burgundy color. They have like a little elastic waistband. Yes, that's what I love. It's what I live for. Oh my gosh, Kathy Lee collection. This has gotta be a, some kind of vintage. The estimated retail value is $24. I mean, look at the tag. I got them for $10.99 and I just can't wait to wear these out when I go grocery shopping. Cause really where else am I going? You know, I'm gonna be the best dressed person at Publix. 
Oh, speaking of Publix and around the house, I got these black leggings. Yes. Hello. How are you? I uh, They are Old Navy brand. That's is from my carpet. I love Old Navy leggings. I actually have a pair and I thought I need another pair because I wear them so often. I love how they fit. I love how they feel. Don't always love the price at Old Navy. I think the estimated retail value of these is like 28 bucks. I got them from ThreadUp for 12 bucks. I thought that's a screaming deal for something that's basically brand new condition. <gasps> Speaking of something that, oh, this is probably my favorite purchase. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. It is this dress. Oh, the brand is Pink Blush. And if you've heard that brand before, you probably think, oh, maternity. Nope. Guess what? They have normal clothing pieces too. Cause sometimes when I find an item on ThreadUp, I'll Google it to see like what it looks like on someone, if it's tight or just how it fits in general. And I Googled this, just typed in the brand, typed in pink, typed in eyelet, and I loved the way that it looked. It was so boho, so beautiful. Love the color, this pink blush color. Uh, the brand is pink blush and it's the color of pink blush. This is one of my favorite, favorite colors. The estimated retail value of this is $48 and I got it for $24.99 from ThreadUp and I couldn't be more in love with this. This really is, I wore it to a bridal shower and just felt so chic. I felt like, yep, I have my life together today. Today being the operative word. <laughs> Not every day, but that day I felt like it. On the other end of the spectrum, I found some purple sweatpants. I was just going around the ThreadUp website looking for lavender anything because I'm pretty sure this is my new favorite color. I don't have anything to wear in this color. And I found these sweatpants and I was like, yep, what am I gonna wear every day of my life? Sweatpants. The brand is a New Day, so that's a Target brand. So the estimated retail value of these is $24. And I got them from ThreadUp for $13.99. Oh my gosh, and they just look so comfortable. They feel like They've never been worn. They look like they've never been worn. It's a like new condition, which is what I love so much. Oh, speaking of like new condition, this is new with tags on it. Look how old these tags look. Holy crap. You're not kidding. Look at these cigarette pants. Okay, this has got to be vintage. Oh yes, a good vintage. We love a good vintage piece. Yes, you can even find vintage on ThreadUp. Remember that um, sweater I found in my last haul, the Christmas sweater? Man, that was my favorite. I got that sweater for like, I don't know, $8. It was nuts. How did no one else snag that? I'll never know. But these, again, it's like the lavender color, periwinkle, whatever you wanna call it. You guys, ThreadUp says that the estimated retail value of these is $45. Well, I have a tag that says otherwise. $130 right there. Maybe they got it on clearance, maybe not. But guess what? It's made in the USA. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful these are. I'm so excited about these. I can't even believe that they're brand new with tags. Then I found a couple of other pieces, just this purple tank top. The brand is a new day and uh, I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. I love wearing tank tops. I also found a black tank top. Oh my gosh, stop it right now. New with tags. Oh, Stitch Fix. Ooh, if you guys have ever watched people get Stitch Fix boxes, you know that this was a pricey little number. Estimated retail value is $45. I just wanna say why, and also thank you for the person who spent that money and then decided not to wear it so that I could literally have something brand new from ThreadUp and I paid $16.99 for it. Incredible. I have one black tank top that I wear all the time and I figured I wear this so often I should probably have two in my collection <laughs> for the times that it is dirty and I still want to wear a black tank top. But that is my haul. If you guys wanna get 30% off of your first order at ThreadUp, you can use my code Kimberly. It's in the description box below, the link, the code, everything you need. Let me know what kind of great finds you find from ThreadUp. I would love to know. Tag me on Instagram or something. Send me a message modeling it. You can take a picture of yourself, DM me. It'll be fun. It'll be like we're friends exchanging. Oh my gosh, look at this I found, you know? I love thrift store shopping. You know what I don't love? 
going makeup shopping <laughs> but it's something that i need to do so i'm gonna run to do that right now before uh the kids get home before the track meet before chaos ensues so let me go do that let's go okay hold on before i leave i thought i want to make a treat i don't want to eat them all myself so why don't i just make them for the kids at avelina's track meet it's gonna be great i have had this gluten-free cookie mix in my pantry, I'm just gonna throw these together really quickly. It's Bob's Red Mill cookie mix. I don't know, it looks good. And all I need is a stick of melted butter and a bowl. Ooh, see? This is the chocolate that Alex got. I shared with you a couple videos ago. It's the world's finest. All the kids try to sell for a fundraiser. It's not great, but it fills the hole. What do I need for this? One stick of melted butter. Not melted, softened. I'm gonna use the inside of the butter skin wrapper. Is that what it's called? I never know what it's called. I use that to grease my cookie sheet. I don't really need to grease it, I think, because I have this mat on it, but I do it anyway. Oh no! That was 30 seconds. I melted the butter anyway. I don't need melted butter. I just need softened butter. Shoot. I have another stick. Let's try this again. So I'm gonna dump all the mix in. It kind of smells like french fries. Weird. Uh, one egg. Whoops, I almost threw away my chocolate. All right, really soft butter. By the way, I got these shoes off thread up too. Aren't they cute? Can you see them? Aren't they cute? I usually never wear shoes in my house, but I was about to leave and then I thought, oh, cookies. Yes, those are the things I think about 24 seven. Oh yeah, and then three tablespoons of water. I don't know where my tablespoon measure is, so I'm just gonna use the cookie scoop. A one and a half, and one and a half makes three. Isn't this a beautiful sight? Cookie dough? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat it. That's probably one of my favorite foods. Cookie dough. <laughs> cookie dough and brownie batter. Oh yeah, look at this. You guys know I have to take a little taste test. Salmonella, I dare you. You know what? For a gluten-free, dairy-free cookie, that's pretty good. Mmm, very good. Sometimes you have to try it twice. All right, I'm just gonna get these all on the pan. Oh, you know what, I should've chilled the dough. Do I have to chill it? Are these gonna spread out? Oh, so many questions. It's fine, we're gonna be fine, hold on. Got a dopamine rush. Well, how about this? I'll cook these and then I'll eat this. <laughs> that seems like a good deal to me. Into the oven, 411 degrees for 10 to 13 minutes. Is there anything much better than just meowing down on some good old cookie dough, gluten-free, dairy-free style, on a crisp fall day? I would say no. Instead of eating this, I should probably, I mean, this thing is loaded with chocolate chips. However much this bag was, they definitely uh, did not skimp on the chocolate chips buying a bag of chocolate chips would be as much as buying this, so definitely a deal. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Maybe our second batch of cookies will come out better than the first. We don't even know how the first one's gonna come out. Um, okay, I'm gonna take this 10 minutes to clean the rest of my kitchen, because I don't wanna just sit here and waste my time. I hear something happening, and it's like popping. You gotta hear it. Got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? No, it's so hard to tell. All right, we're just gonna, they're a little soft, but I feel like, I like a soft cookie. I know some people like a crunchy cookie, not for me, I would rather not. As close to the batter as you can get, that's pretty much what I enjoy. That's why I like my cookie recipe so much, uh, because it is soft and pillowy on the inside and the outside is has a little texture to it. Ooh, I ran out of room. Oh boy, okay. Well, these barely had time to chill. From what I know, 
Well, I'm doing this all wrong anyway because this is a warm pan. I could run some cold water over it. You're not supposed to put cookie dough on a, a warm pan because it just starts cooking right away. And then it flattens the cookies out. Anyway, if you're wanting to make a really nice cookie, chill them for at least 30 minutes. And that really uh, helps the dough develop. I don't know if that's the same with gluten-free cookies. I imagine it's pretty close. All right, there's that. the beautiful cookies they look great does the second batch look better than the first uh, I would say they look pretty much the same and look at that we made cookies and cleaned our kitchen all at the same time feels good but I also feel like we need a little taste test they're very good I wouldn't even know that these are gluten-free or dairy-free they taste fantastic time to go I have my water I have my snack I have my pocketbook let's go Oh my gosh, why am I wearing a sweater? It's literally 110 degrees outside. <laughs> oh, Florida humidity. I've been outside 0.2 seconds, already sweating. Let's go. I'm not sure why I wear makeup. It's already just dripping off of my face. The steering wheel is so, it's like lava hot. If you live in Florida or a hot state, you know what I'm talking about. It's like, you. You have to touch the steering wheel, but you try your hardest not to, so you don't burn your fingerprints off of your fingers. Okay, I just made it to, uh, where are we? Ulta, that's where we are. Don't let me forget to get chapstick. I have zero chapstick. I've been without it for way too long. Normally it's on the back end of my phone. Uh, I have like the Burt's Bees, I don't even know what the thing is called, where like you hold it. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't matter. I pop it. I pop it, but it has chapstick in it, which is amazing, but it's been empty. So I need some chapstick. That's number one. If I walk away with nothing else, please let me buy some chapstick at least. Um, also, there's a TJ Maxx right there, so we might pop in just for funsies. Okay, let's go inside Ulta. They have uh, shopping carts inside Ulta, so I'm about to tear this place up. I'm just kidding. I'm probably going to come out with like the world's smallest bag. <laughs> I think they're already putting out stuff for like Christmas, which is great, but they're already out of some stuff. So five of these blushes for $40. Scream and deal. Everyone knows about it because they're out already. Ooh, three mascaras. I don't know anything about anything when it comes to makeup. I'm just so overwhelmed. I normally walk out with nothing. <laughs>
check it. They have Fruity Pebbles makeup. What? And Cocoa Pebbles. This is crazy sauce. Look how pretty this is. I don't wear eyeshadow, but I don't, ooh, that's pretty nice. I put on their hand sanitizer because I thought, oh, surely everything's got to be more fancy here. Uh, it smells fantastic. Ooh, Color Bob. Oh, yes. All right. What do we need here? Oh, my gosh. Overwhelmed. I don't even know what I want or need. <laughs> well, Alta, that was real. And it was fun, but it wasn't real fun. Uh, I will tell you, I spent way too much money in there. I don't even know what was what. Why was... I'm going to have to look over my receipts. I spent more than I bargained for. I have about 10 minutes, so I'm going to run into TJ Maxx and see what's up. Oh my gosh, I just bought a turkey, but look at this guy. Oh, he's darling. Uh, I don't need another turkey. Oh my gosh, look at this glam up here. Wow. I love this one. Treats, please. I don't know if you've noticed, but um, everyone is already decorating for Halloween. I feel like I didn't even decorate for fall. I feel kind of behind. Look at those gnomies. Oh my gosh, look at these. Oh, look at that witch. I wasn't planning on making cupcakes, but I guess now I have to, right? That witch and the cauldron. This is incredible. I shouldn't buy it, but I really want to. It's so cute. All right, what's over here? Ooh, you guys, I don't think I told you. I barely know myself. I'm hosting Thanksgiving this year. Well, I don't think it's my first time hosting Thanksgiving, but it's exciting because, oh my gosh, look at that. I mean, I was gonna say, oh wow, is he okay? But he's dead, so it doesn't matter. That is a find, but it's exciting because we're moving and it's around two birthdays and uh we're probably gonna have boxes everywhere but we'll make it work oh my gosh arresting witch face <laughs> okay i've fallen into a candle love lately and i was reading the reviews on the, this thanksgiving feast candle and people were saying wow it smells like a thanksgiving feast it really does it really it smells like the spices how do they do it man dw you're amazing Look at this one, mac and cheese. Oh, that's so sick. It smells like mac and cheese, like the powder packet. Oh man, that's nasty. That's really funny. I have this one. I burned it all. It's amazing, lovely. So you know how we're supposed to be shopping for Christmas gifts early? I found a really great Christmas gift. First of all, everything Dash is fantastic gift that everyone loves. I found this gem. A whole bunch of Dash stuff. So like these waffle makers are $10 in Target. They're $8 here. Look, I see a white one right here. Great Christmas gift, but look at this popcorn maker and you just flip it over and it becomes the bowl. That's, all, I, I love that. It's $20. Oh, I might buy that for a white elephant gift this year. That's a great like versatile gift. Let's take a look at this darling. Oh, I love the sunflower. He's a cutie patoot. Well, I wasn't expecting to buy a popcorn maker. But that's what happened. So now I need to run to um, Avelina's track meet. I got this uh, tinted sun balm. Sunset Cove is the color. I'm just gonna try it on for size. Oh, yep. Yes, I should have got the beach something. It was a little more brown toned. Yeah, this is a little, little much, but better than nothing. All right, let's go cheer on Avelina. Well, that was fun. We're back home now. I will share with you what I got from Ulta. Oh, wow. Can I just first tell you that this teeny tiny bag cost me as much as a week's worth of groceries, I feel like. So is it worth it to look like this? TBD, but before I share all of that with you, uh, I, I really need to clean out my fridge. I just made dinner and uh, going through my fridge before I made dinner, I thought, oh, this is a disaster. This is uh, Pinterest worthy, some would say. Others would say, call it HGTV. And maybe other people would say, wow, Kim, teach us your ways. So I'm just gonna take some time real quick to tackle this because it has been needing my attention for about a week and a half. 
Also, like it looks really full, but there's not much in there. Like there's a bag of grapes with like one grape in it. There's a pineapple. Oh, I'm sorry. There are four grapes. This has like three pieces of pineapple. <laughs> you know, it's just taking up a lot of room. So I need to tackle that. Maybe if I'm feeling up to it, I'll also open up my pantry because I know there's some empty boxes like off the top of my head. Eleanor just went to a friend's house, so you know, she's gluten-free, dairy. So you know, I, I sent her with a little boom chicka pop, it's dairy-free, but now it's empty and it's just hanging out in there. So I just need to tidy up a little bit. Let's do it. You gonna help me, Meredith? You want, you want an orange? Come on. Okay. Give you an orange. Oh, you found another snack too? reveal before you may have thought oh wow can you have so much food in there I told you most of it was like empty or barely there or leftovers that have been in there for too long uh, now I need to go to the grocery store so I guess tomorrow is grocery shopping day but I don't know about you but I like an empty fridge <laughs> I mean really there's plenty to eat dinner for tomorrow night some chicken wings uh, veggies in there, Brussels chicken wings and Brussels sprouts, anyone? And then some snacks in here. This will last like four more days if it was just me. <laughs> and my kids didn't complain about anything. Now I'm noticing all the smudges on the fridge, so I'm gonna use this stainless steel polish. I think it works okay. Streak free shine. Sure, why not? I think you just wipe it and then you let it sit and the streaks go away. Okay, well, I feel better about my life. A little bit better anyway. <laughs> okay, time to share everything I got from Ulta. It's not much. My bank account might think otherwise. Um, most exciting thing that was not on my list of things to get was this sparkling leaves soap. Oh man, I'm spilling it everywhere. I don't know, it just smelled like the woman across the room and it was 50% off. So I got it. I think normal price it was $7, so I got it for $3.50. Taking the crap out of this bag, I'm like, oh my gosh. I normally buy like, oh, CoverGirl. You know what I normally buy? This uh, concealer, which has always worked well, but they're always out of whatever color I need. I did get one of them because they had it, and it always works really well. It's pretty good coverage. 
I like it. Not much more I can say about it. But what I've been hearing for years, gosh, that soap smells so good. Hey, I can smell it here. Serious? Smell something. You smell a clean fridge? Oh, is that what that smell is? That's what that smell is. Cleanliness. He's not used to it. <laughs> okay, Shape Tape, everyone's been raving about it. I found this, they had a couple of gift sets out already for Christmas time, and I don't know, one time I got, what was it, Purity brand, like face wash and moisturizer. I regretted it, I was like, this is so dumb, I don't know. But uh, I had this and I thought, well, I'll actually use these things. It's a concealer a lip gloss thing or maybe I don't know I'm gonna take it out and then some mascara I've never used the mascara before I think it's called man eater love the name ooh a juicy lip ooh see I didn't even need to buy a bunch of chapsticks because I've got this I like Tarte I think it's a great brand <laughs> I don't know if I have anything from Tarte but what I've heard of from all the beauty gurus it's a good brand mmm that feels good like it Let's try this Man Eater Mascara. I don't think it's gonna do much. We'll have to try it out uh, tomorrow, but I'm kind of hoping I don't like anything because they're pretty expensive. I was looking for chapsticks and a couple of the employees were down the, uh, like they have a drugstore section and higher end section. So I was going through the drugstore section, but some of the employees were like, you know, chit chatting, girl talk. I didn't want to bother them. So I kind of roamed around a little bit and found this one. And initially when I put it on, I didn't like the color, but I've been wearing it for a couple hours. I love the color. I like the formula. I really like the scent of this. It gives me that tropical summer scent. It's like a uh, coconut. Then once the gals moved, Talking about cheating boyfriends and all that good stuff. I went down the essence aisle. These were like $2 a piece for these chapsticks. This one is Lime Crush, right up my alley, love climb. And then this one is Cherry Love. I don't need it to do many other things. Smells good, feels good, that's all I need. Okay, so this setting spray by Tarte, it was a bit of a I wanna say it was $29 when she was ringing me up. Let's see but I misted it. Oh my gosh, it smells so glam. Wow, is it worth it? Is it worth $29 TBD? Double duty beauty. Oh, shake well. Oh crap, I suck again. Last thing I got was the only thing I really needed. Well, oh gosh, that smells so good. So I was on the hunt for something simple and easy. I like convenience when I do my makeup. I don't like a lot of fuss opening different things and having different things. I just wanted a bronzer, highlight, and blush all in one. I just started wearing blush again. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I bought like a little e.l.f. Cr cream blush that Jessica Braun was talking about. I was like, okay, so I put it on. It really transforms my look. Not really, no one cares. But this was the only thing that they had the trio in. It's Urban Decay Stay Naked. Here it is. That's all I got for you. And then you guys saw from TJ Maxx, man, that stuff smells so good. Worth $30 so far, yes. I got the popcorn maker for White Elephant Gift. I really think people are gonna fight over that one. And then I got this Thanksgiving feast candle. I just had to. It smells so weird. It smells like stuffing. That's what it smells like. The All the herbs in like when you buy box stuffing mix, that's what this smells like. And then also some more things. I don't know, it's so crazy, but the reviews on this really made me wanna buy it. So I'm going to be burning this the a whole weekend of Thanksgiving. Let me get all of Meredith's clothes together that I got her. I swear to you, I wish you could smell me right now. Just take a whiff, it is so good. I'm gonna get her clothes down, I'll show you everything I got her. I went in for shoes, did I tell you guys that? For Meredith, so I definitely got a few pairs of shoes for her and then some. I saw, first thing I went to were the Halloween costumes and I found this one for Eleanor, just for fun. Uh, she's been wearing it. She actually has worn it a few times since I got it. And then I found this, oh my gosh, crying. And Meredith kind of looks like this girl, would you agree? I shared on my Instagram, I took a picture of it, and I just thought it was adorable. And actually, Meredith has worn this every day. It's in the wash right now because it's completely filthy, but she adores it, and I love that. And then I got a few outfits. This whole outfit was $8.50, and I just thought it was so darling. I'm sure it's like a great brand, I don't know, but it's so cute. 
with the matching pants. And then this one was a brand new with tags, $5.50. I wish they had it in my size. Look at that sleeve, how cute it is. And then these pants, really great quality. I also found this like tunic for her, a Thanksgiving shirt. It's long sleeves, but I don't know. We'll see, $5.50. It's like a crapshoot whether or not it's going to be chilly for us around that time or a scorching 90. Here's just a cute little top for her, a skirt. Oh my gosh, I used to have a skirt that looked like this. I love the pockets. What are they gonna keep in their pockets? Just a bunch of rocks. Shorts, another pair of shorts. There's actually a couple more pairs of shorts that she has already worn, probably in the wash right now. And then I got a plethora of leggings. These are all like $1.50 each, which is crazy. Like, how can I say no to that? You can never have too many leggings. And then I found this old navy dress. I thought it was like so fall. I could picture her apple picking even though we don't do that. I just thought it was darling. Oh my gosh, what a cute outfit. And then I saw this and I know it's a sweater, but I thought, well, I might as well buy it now. It's gonna get cold a little later. We're going to a wedding in a month. Oh my gosh, it's a, a month away, a little over a month away and she needs something to wear. She grew out of the dresses I bought her for the last wedding we went to, and I thought that was darling. I also found these shoes for her. Oh, and then I found this like brown velvet dress, totally 90s. I thought maybe she could wear this for Thanksgiving or something, and then the shoes are so sweet, and then with all kids' shoes, they're like barely worn, and these were $3.50, and I thought that is the cutest little wedding outfit. She has been dying over these. She loves these so much. They're Elsa shoes, and she loves Elsa. They're official Frozen. She's been wearing the snaws out of these too. Every single day, I found a cute pair of sandals for her. These are a little big, but I like to have them for when she's like growing out of her shoes. I found some booties. I don't know how she's gonna feel about these, but I thought they were too cute to pass up. $4.50 for these, and then a nice pair of sneakers. These were $3.50. Like, are you kidding me? For a pair of sneakers that are barely worn? She's worn them for a few days now. So they may have been like brand new when I got them. Oh, and then for Eleanor, I grabbed that. I thought it was cute. And for school, they always do something for Halloween. So I figured she could wear that. So that is her thrift store haul. Speaking of laundry, we always have a ton of it. Normally this is in a laundry basket, but guess where my laundry basket is? Alex, why don't you take a guess? Oh, it's holding all of the junk from the car. That's where it is. When I, when I Waiting clean the car, for me to put it away. When I clean the car, I put stuff in the laundry basket. I bring it in, and then I used to put it away, but thinking, oh, where's this, where's that? So now I have Kim put it away. It only takes her like 30 seconds, but she knows where everything goes. So I clean the car out, she puts the stuff away. What's what's the big deal? But the problem is it's been sitting there for a week and a half. That's the, <laughs> that's the thing, I don't know and where And now the car goes. needs to be cleaned out again, I feel like, because it's yeah, been so long. That's true, Ooh, what's this? I just don't know why you always use laundry baskets. Where'd you get this shirt? To move stuff around in. They probably don't think I help with laundry. I help with laundry often. helps with laundry. Everyone helps out, even the kids. Yeah. Avelina yeah. did laundry yesterday. Yeah. And look, we have so much more. There's plenty for everyone. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you. Something about you I like, about you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like I get too Okay, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. Hope you enjoyed spending some time with me. Uh, don't forget to check out the Red Up. If you wanna get 30% off of your first order, just use my code Kimberly. I love it. I love finding gems on there. Let me know what you find on there because I know you're gonna find something amazing. If you want to, subscribe. Put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.